Today's video is about Ibn Khaldun, a man whose work still resonates centuries after his death. Born in the year 1332, Ibn Khaldun emerged from the sun-drenched city of Tunis. His lineage was steeped in the rich culture of Andalusian Arabs, a heritage that was both a source of pride and influence in his life. From his earliest years, Ibn Khaldun was no ordinary child. His thirst for knowledge was insatiable a trait that was nurtured and encouraged by his family. This early passion for learning would set the stage for his remarkable journey of intellectual exploration. It was this deep-rooted curiosity that would propel him to become a leading scholar and pioneer in various fields such as philosophy, sociology and history. The seeds of greatness were evident in Ibn Khaldun from a young age, but little did the world know just how much he would go on to achieve. Ibn Khaldun's thirst for knowledge was unquenchable from an early age. Born in Tunisia in the 14th century, young Khaldun found himself immersed in a world rich in intellectual and cultural diversity. His family of Yemeni origin held a high social status and were known for their scholarly pursuits. This sparked his interest in education and set him on a path of lifelong learning. Young Khaldun's educational journey began with religious studies, a common starting point for scholars of the era. He delved into the depths of Islamic jurisprudence, theology, and hadith studies, the sayings and deeds of the Prophet Muhammad. This early religious education provided him with a solid foundation upon which he built his later intellectual pursuits. However, Khaldun's inquisitive mind was not satisfied with religious studies alone. He yearned for a broader understanding of the world, leading him to explore more secular fields of study. He turned to philosophy, logic and politics, subjects that were considered revolutionary and daring for his time. In the realm of philosophy, he engaged with the works of great thinkers like Aristotle and Plato, which influenced his understanding of society and human behavior. Logic, on the other hand, honed his analytical skills, helping him to dissect complex issues with precision and clarity. Finally, his studies in politics provided him with insights into the dynamics of power, governance and social structures, all of which would later influence his groundbreaking theories on sociology and history. Khaldun's education was not confined to the four walls of a classroom. He was an active participant in the intellectual debates of his time, engaging with scholars, politicians and theologians. These interactions further enriched his knowledge, broadening his perspective and shaping his unique worldview. In conclusion, Ibn Khaldun's early life was a melting pot of diverse educational experiences. From religious studies to philosophy, logic and politics, his education was as varied as it was profound. This wide-ranging education laid the groundwork for Ibn Khaldun's unique perspective on the world. His thirst for knowledge, combined with his intellectual curiosity, set the stage for his remarkable contributions to the fields of history, sociology and economics. Opening. Ibn Khaldun's career was as diverse as his education. In the vast tapestry of history, Ibn Khaldun's career threads together a myriad of roles. Scholar, judge, diplomat, advisor to rulers. Each role he undertook was carried out with an extraordinary depth of understanding and wisdom. Let's begin with his role as a teacher. Khaldun was a man of immense knowledge and he believed in sharing it. After completing his education, he didn't hesitate to step into the world of academia. He taught at various prestigious institutions, imparting his knowledge on subjects like jurisprudence, philosophy and Arabic literature. His students were not only those who sat in his classrooms, but also those who would, centuries later, study his works. From the classroom, Khaldun moved to the courtroom, serving as a high-ranking judge in Egypt. His profound understanding of Islamic law and his rigorous sense of justice made him a respected figure in the judicial system. While his roles as a teacher and judge were significant, it was in the political arena that Ibn Khaldun truly left his mark. He served as a diplomat and advisor to several rulers across North Africa and the Islamic Empire. His political acumen was widely acknowledged and his advice was highly sought after. However, it was his work as a historian and sociologist that truly immortalized Ibn Khaldun. He penned several significant works, the most renowned of which is Mukaddimah, often translated as Introduction or Prolegomena. This book, conceived while Ibn Khaldun was on a diplomatic mission, is nothing short of a masterpiece. 
It lays the groundwork for sociology and historiography, offering an in-depth analysis of historical events and their causes. In Mukadima, Ibn Khaldun presented an innovative theory. He proposed that civilizations have a natural life cycle. They grow, peak, and eventually decline. He attributed this to what he called asabiya, or social cohesion, arguing that it is essential for a society's growth but tends to weaken as societies reach their peak. Furthermore, Ibn Khaldun also made significant contributions to economics. He was one of the first to discuss labor as a source of value and recognized the role of supply and demand in determining prices. His thoughts on taxation also carry weight, as he suggested that high taxes could hinder economic growth a concept that continues to be debated in economic circles today. Ibn Khaldun's work was groundbreaking. His theories, his methodologies, and his insights were well ahead of his time, and they laid the foundation for entire fields of study. He was a man who dared to think differently, to question the status quo, and to propose new ideas. His work crossed boundaries, bridged disciplines, and offered a fresh perspective on understanding human societies. Closing. Ibn Khaldun's work was groundbreaking and his influence can still be felt today. Even in his later years, Ibn Khaldun's work continued to evolve. As he grew older, his thirst for knowledge and understanding of the world around him never waned. He relocated to Egypt, a move that would prove to be significant in his later life. In the hustle and bustle of Cairo, Ibn Khaldun found a new platform to further his academic contributions. In Egypt, his reputation as a scholar of great importance grew. He served as a judge and a teacher, roles that allowed him to influence a new generation of thinkers. His teachings were not just confined to the four walls of a classroom, he shared his wisdom with the wider community, contributing to the intellectual growth of society. Ibn Khaldun's later years were not without challenges. He faced personal loss and political upheaval, yet his resilience saw him through. His ability to adapt and thrive in changing circumstances is a testament to his character. These experiences only enriched his work, adding depth and nuance to his insights. And then, in the year 1406, Ibn Khaldun passed away. But the story doesn't end there. His contributions to sociology, historiography, economics and philosophy continue to echo through the centuries. His seminal work, the Mukadima, is considered an invaluable resource by scholars to this day. His legacy goes beyond his scholarly works. Ibn Khaldun was a pioneer, a man ahead of his time. He championed the importance of critical thinking, of questioning existing norms, and of understanding the world through various perspectives. His philosophies continue to inspire countless individuals, shaping the way we think and understand our world. He left behind a rich tapestry of wisdom, a testament to a life dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. His teachings continue to enlighten, his philosophies continue to provoke thought, and his legacy continues to inspire. Ibn Khaldun's life was not just marked by his achievements, but by the impact he had on the world. Ibn Khaldun's life was a testament to the power of knowledge, curiosity, and dedication. He was a beacon of intellectual pursuit. His light continues to shine, guiding us through the corridors of understanding, even centuries after his demise. Ibn Khaldun was a true Renaissance man long before the Renaissance even began. Born in 14th century Tunisia, he charted his own path of intellectual pursuit, turning his back on a life of privilege to seek out knowledge. This thirst for learning shaped his education and career, leading him to become an acclaimed historian, philosopher, and sociologist. His most notable work, Mukadima, stands as a testament to his innovative thinking, introducing concepts that would later form the basis of modern sociology, economics, and historiography. Despite political upheavals and personal hardships, Ibn Khaldun remained steadfast in his commitment to scholarship, leaving behind a rich legacy that continues to inspire and inform. Ibn Khaldun's life was not just a journey of personal enlightenment, but a beacon that illuminated the path for others to follow. His enduring impact on various fields of study is a testament to the timeless value of knowledge and the power of curiosity. Ibn Khaldun's life reminds us of the timeless value of knowledge, the power of curiosity, and the impact one person can have on the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of Ibn Khaldun.